Hey you, did you know that I have a Discord server? Uh, you should join it, link is in the description. We got tons of roles, tons of channels, memes, skyblock, uh, you can talk to me, th things like that. Yeah, join it, link in the description, join it, please. Yo, how's it going people of Skyblock and welcome back to some more Happy Skyblock. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to complete the chicken race because uh, if you guys didn't see my last episode of the solo Hypixel Skyblock series, we had some trouble with this and I fixed it on my own and the fix was extremely dumb. But I've also noticed that a lot of people are actually having a lot of trouble completing this race because the last couple uh, missions on it are really difficult. So we're going to go over just some little tips on how to do it slightly faster than on average. But first of all, if you're doing the chicken race and your game looks like this, and you don't know what you're doing, then I have a fix for that. If your particles are off, specifically your explosion animation particles are off, you won't actually see the rings. This was the problem I was having, and it was really, really frustrating because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. But uh, there are four stages to this challenge. The first, actually, there's, there, yeah, there's four. The four stages involve going through these little smoke rings, and what you want to do is uh, press space, or like, yeah, hold space on your chicken to fly. And whenever you press space, the chicken does a little jump, and your object is to fly through all of these smoke rings. Every time you go through a green one, then you reach a new checkpoint, and you get some time back. As you see, I got 19 seconds there. So what you want to do is fly through these portals. Now, I'm going to just do the third one, just to give you a little example, but the fourth one is apparently really, really difficult sometimes. So we're going to go over just a little bit of extra tips that I found that make it just a little bit easier to get through some of these things. So yeah, that time we got an extra 15 seconds, so we're going through this little place. And as you can see, we're going to make it just fine. These little smoke rings are very, very forgiving on their hitbox. But we're going to make it with about two seconds left. And yeah, okay, there we go. So the final mission, actually, let's go ahead and grab our gift. We get a frozen chicken for that. That's pretty cool. So, uh, let's, let's grab it. There we go. Plus one speed, of course. Now, the final race is really, really difficult. And what you want to do is, I'm going to tell you a couple little, little kind of obvious tricks and a couple ones that I've personally found that help just a little bit. So, the first one is, obviously, clipping the very corner of the rings. This is important because you want to cut off as much area as possible without losing any bit of time, like, at all. So, as you can see, we're just barely hitting these things and we're going i think i actually missed that one so we're going to restart here but as you can see we're trying to cut them as close as we can so that's kind of the more obvious trick the lesser known trick is actually you want to jump as little as possible and when you have to do multiple jumps do them immediately after each other like that this makes it so you're falling and when you're falling you go faster than when you're going up because that's that's how speed works so, if you're doing more than one jump at once, you want to do them- Oh, I missed a ring! Dang it, I have to restart. You want to clip these as close as you can with jumping as few times as possible. That's why you're seeing me kind of jump really, really weirdly. And jumping kind of late. So then right here, I'll do two. And then I'll do one here, and then I'll do one here, and then we'll do two to go up. You'll see a lot of people clip their head on that corner because they're doing the exact same thing I'm doing. Oh, uh, that one didn't count. Darn it. Okay. But that's just kind of my tip. I'll show my winning attempt of doing the last checkpoint. And there we go, we finished with just a little bit under 3 seconds left. 139, which isn't quite leaderboard time, because obviously that was my first time beating it, and people have been able to cut off about 5 seconds, which is absolutely crazy. Is this guy going to share a present with us? That'd be pretty sweet if he does. Is he going to? Is, is he going to? Do you want, do you want to be in the... You, you want to? Yeah, let's go. There we go, and more we're going to get. 2,000 coins, pretty good. Alright, there we go. We can talk to this guy, and uh, he's, he's surprised. We get jingle bells. What do these do? Uh... Angers all monsters in a 10 block range, consumes 50% of your total mana, causes them to run towards you. That's not a good item. Alright, well that's fine. Is, does he say anything else? Not really, no. 
All right, well, that's going to do it for uh, this little guide video. If you found it useful, be sure to leave a like down on this video. It helps out the channel quite a bit. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe for uh, a lot of Hypixel Skyblock content. We're well made to 4,000 subscribers, so every single subscriber counts. And it's free anyways. Anyways, have an awesome day, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.